Science as we know it today began with scholars like Rene Descartes and Kevin Bacon. Fran Francis Bacon. <laughs> Not Kevin. Francis. Bacon. They laid the foundation for modern science, the scientific method. First you see something happen, then you scratch your head until you can think of a reason. That's your hypothesis. It's a secret. Next you get to make up a test to see if you're right. If you are, it becomes a theory. If it's not, you have to go back and come up with a new hypothesis. And you'll repeat this process till you come up with something that works or until you run out of money. Remember, it's got to be testable. I can come up with all kinds of explanations for things in my head. The lawn gnomes come alive whenever I'm not looking. But if your theories can't be tested by other people and have them get the same results, it just isn't science. Let's say you come up with a good theory and the scientific community likes it, because they have to like it. Now other people can start to use it, but it doesn't mean your theory is set in stone. Someone else could come along at any time and through better math or better logic or better data show that your theory and conclusions are all messed up. You can end up spending your whole life working on something that's completely wrong. This can be uncomfortable. Needless to say, some people will resist and try to keep things the way they are, even if it means fudging the numbers or ignoring the truth. Oops. The danger is that in our society, science is thought of as fact. You need to understand that there are very few hard facts in science. Most of the science you read about, hear about, or talk about is theories. Now generally speaking, scientists are fair and objective, and their theories tend to fit observable data. Unfortunately, there's a lot of science out there that isn't. Science. The science isn't science. It isn't science because it isn't provable. And yet scientists, teachers, politicians, corporations, and the media present some fairly loose-hanging theories as undeniable fact. Could it be they're pushing their own agenda? No. Yeah. Some scientists defend unprovable theories with just as much faith and blind conviction as any religious zealot. I mean, no wonder science is dubbed the new religion of the 21st century. String theory. I believe. Dark matter. Can you see the light? The Big Bang. Yes! Ah. Stuff like this can't be tested or proven. It's not science. It strays into the realm of philosophy where proof is replaced by belief. That's why the creation debate is so heated between religion and science. It's all philosophical. You can't prove any of it. Now, I like science, and I'm okay with scientists believing whatever they want to. But if they can't prove something's true, it should never be presented as scientific fact. Sorry, guys, but you made up the rules. Believe it or not, there are some fundamental questions that science doesn't have any good answers for. It's okay. The scientific search for truth isn't about getting the answers you want. It's about finding the answers that are there. And finally, to all you non-scientific types, don't just accept what you're force-fed. So what if they're smarter than you? You can still question it. In fact, you should. Because that is the scientific method. Is there really a scientific community? Huh. Is it gated?